So welcome to the video. Today we're going to take a look at how to do reverse coding on Jamovi. So we're going to use this brief fear of negative evaluation scale as an example. So this is a five item scale and participants use a five point like it scale to respond to each of these items. So question one, we can see we have, I worry about what other people will think of me even when I know it doesn't make any difference. So a person with a high score on this item would have a high level of fear about being negatively evaluated by other people. However, question two says, I am unconcerned even if I know people are forming an unfavorable impression of me. So a person with a high score on this item would have a low level of fear about other people judging them negatively. And it's the same thing here with question four. I rarely worry about what kind of impression I am making on someone. So questions two and four go in one direction where high scores equal low fear and questions one, three and five are the opposite. So high score equals high fear. So let's take a look at how to recode questions two and four so that they go in the same direction as questions or items one, three, and five. So if we go to Jamovi, we can see these items here and actually have a checklist of things to do. So you might want to take a screenshot of this if you uh, would like to have a list of instructions about how to do this. So the first thing we're gonna do is right click on the variable to be reversed, then go to add variable and insert. So we click on item two. This is one of the items that we need to reverse. We're gonna go down to add variable and then we're gonna go to insert under this transformed variable heading. So then if we go back to the checklist, we can see um, double click on the new variable to reveal information. That's actually already been done. So if you can't see this here, you can just double click on this bit here and that shows you this additional information. So the next thing on the list, name the new variable. So we could just call this something like item two, but then maybe put an R at the end to indicate that this item has been reversed. And then we need to select the source variable so we're going to select item two from this list here. The next thing to do is select create new transformation. So we go to this bit here using transform. We use this menu here. We go down to create new transformation. So I'm going to go to add recode condition, and then I'll put a couple of equals symbols here. I'll press space bar. Then I'll put a one here and a five here. So that's telling Jamovi that if a person originally had a score of one, they're now going to have a score of five. So then we'll do the same thing for the other possible numbers within the item. So add recode condition, couple of equal symbols, space bar two, two becomes four, three just stays the same, but let's, let's do it anyway. A couple of equal symbols, space bar three, and then three over here, add recode condition, equals equals, Space bar four, four becomes two. Add reco condition the last time. Two equal symbols, space bar five, five becomes one. And then if we just click here somewhere, we can see that these uh, scores from item two have been recoded. So three just stays the same, but two has become four, uh, four has become two, five has become one, and two has become four again. And as we've already set up this coding system, we can now just apply this to the other item that needs to be recoded, which is item four. Um, so we're going to right click here. We'll go down to add variable and then transformed variable insert. Let's call this item four R the source variable. It's going to be item four. And we already have this now because we just told Jamovi how to recode those items for item two, and we're going to use the same system for item four. So in this case, we can just select transform one, and we can see that that has automatically transformed those numbers. So one is five, three is three still, five is one, four is two, and five is one. So that's basically it. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know in a comment, and I will try to get back to you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.